Peace family, I'm so excited that you are here and curious about my favorite thing. So real quick, before you go on, we just have to acknowledge that there is some lipstick in my teeth cringe. However, I am not about to re-record the video. So, please, some grace. You are here and curious about my favorite things. I thought this would be a cool video just to show you some of the things that I've been, you know, falling in love with, trying out, just getting all the feels from lately. And if you follow me on Instagram, then you know I share these in my stories like all the time. But you're my YouTube family, so I had to do a dedicated video for you. It's just five things, so it'll be quick, nothing too long-winded. You know I like to keep it straight and to the point, so let's go. First up is this lovely candle here. I've really been falling in love with candles just as a whole, whether it's in the shower, in the kitchen, while I'm doing yoga, like candle lit, just anything. It's a whole vibe. And so randomly, I discovered this candle at Target of all places. I didn't even know Target sold candles. When I went searching for this candle because a friend got it for their birthday, I was like, where is the candle section at Target? Who knew they had candles? I didn't know. So I was today years old when I found out that Target had candles. But nonetheless, this candle is like, I wanna say 10 bucks and it smells amazing. The scent is aloe and bergamot, but it also mixes in cactus blossom, aloe vera, lime, and prickly pear. It's made with ethically sourced raw materials, a sustainable plant wax, and no paraben. So if you're looking for a great candle that smells amazing, that's easy to get because I do support black owned businesses with candles. Like I have a ton of candles around here, but they often take a lot of time. They take a long time to ship. Um, not because their shipping is slow, it's just, you know, mail, USPS, it just takes forever. Um, so if you're running low on candles and you just want a quick scent, this is the one. Next up is uh, another, I would say, self-care fine. Have you ever heard of Honeypot? If not, it is a black woman-owned business that creates feminine care products such as this wash um i have the sensitive foaming wash and the scent refresh i'm assuming it's a scent maybe not i don't know it doesn't really smell like anything but it says it's 100 percent natural ph of 3.5 to 4.5 which is important because down there lady parts needs to be ph balanced okay um, it contains colloidal silver, cruelty free, sulfate free. Um, yeah, another really random like purchase because I shop at a farmer's market or like a local, I shop at a local organic market for all of my like groceries and things like that. And randomly I saw Honey Pot on the end cap and I'm like, oh, you made it for real. So let me just support and I grabbed it. Um, I've heard a lot about the um, like sanitary s products. I'm not there yet, but um, with the wash, I didn't have any issues down there. Like, like if you've been following me on Instagram, you know, I was just like, have you used this? Like, should I use it? What has your experience been like? And it was very mixed reviews. Some people said it was not good, it like broke them out and it was just, you know, their reactions were off the chain. Other people were saying it was great, like it makes them more lubricated, um, it just helped control their pH off balanceness, if you will. Um, so it was kind of all over the place. I actually also found out on Instagram that my mom used it because she responded and I'm just like, well, why didn't you tell me? But anyway. I debated for a while before I decided to give it a try. And one day I was just like, you know, what's the worst that can happen? Sure, there are some worse things that could happen, but you know, I won't know unless I try it, right? You guys love this stuff. I don't even know how to like put it into words, but I do notice a positive difference since 
using this and like I said it was already fine but this just takes it to the next level so if you're interested in trying honey pot um, I got the sensitive blend I have very sensitive skin um, you know see if they have it in your area read the ingredients ask your doctor but um, I give it a thumbs up so sticking with the whole wellness uh, space something else that I've been really truly grateful for this month are my vitamins do you take vitamins so, like if you could just maybe pause the video or like scroll up or just wherever the comment section is please comment and let me know if you are taking vitamins and if you do take vitamins which ones do you take i personally um, had not been taking vitamins like I had vitamins and I want to say I probably had this bottle since my daughter and she's three now that's what my vitamin situation was like it was just like oh, oh let's just pop a vitamin oh here's a vitamin let's just grab it I would just randomly um just my crown I would randomly just get some vitamins taking vitamin and you guys know if you've you know tuned into any of my lives or Again, follow me on Instagram where I spend, I feel like, a lot of my time. Uh, you know I love podcasts. So one of the podcasts, and I don't say not even just one, several of the podcasts that I've listened to recently have made a point to talk about the deficiency in our food. And it really just had my mind blown because I'm plant-based. I eat, uh, don't eat meat, um, don't like dairy and cheese and stuff like that. And so I strive to eat really clean and I just assume that because I'm plant-based and because my diet is fairly clean that I'm getting all the things that I need. I'm good. Don't worry about it. Well, on these podcasts, as an example, don't quote me. I'm not quoting them. It's just an example. But if you ate a cup of kale five, ten years ago, the nutrients that you would receive from that kale are like less than 60% of it today and I was like whoa that's crazy like you'd have to eat so much and it's for numerous reasons like it's a lot of things right like I if you're interested in the podcast I listen to just leave me a comment I will share them with you but that really just opened my mind up and you know I've been doing my yoga but since I've started to like pay more attention to my body I noticed it was like kind of like creaking kind of just like you know my joints is something's going on here and I'm, I'm too young for this okay so I was like well let me get some supplementation so I started taking my woman's vitamin daily like consistently then what happened um oh you guys I'm gonna say it was last month like I got this severe back pain like y'all if anybody has a disability or like you're in chronic pain like I feel for you because this pain while it only lasted like three four days I don't wish that on anybody and I could not live like that like that was not okay and I looked into my holistic my African holistic health text and they were um one of the points that was made was that if you have back issues um, it may be indication that you're low on your vitamin B and again I am plant-based they do say for vegan or whatever you're supposed to take B supplementation which again I had but I hadn't been taking it consistently so loaded up on vitamin B within 48 hours like I felt three well, not 360 the other side 180 like, I felt completely different and I was just like oh my gosh like I need to stay on top of my vitamins so then I added in the B complex um and then I was then I started reading more about you know just women's health and stuff like that I'm getting older well I'm not getting older I'm aging okay let's be clear about that and it was mentioning that uh calcium is really important so then I started add adding in my calcium and magnesium I have never felt better like synergetically with my body um and my joints just the so much more fluidity 
that I feel compared to when I wasn't taking my vitamins and supplementations. So I say all that to say I'm so grateful for vitamins and supplementation and th this is the mixture that I have. I also have like my black seed oil and things like that. This is a mixture that I have. Please check with your uh, holistic doctor for what supplementations would work best for you. We cannot rely just on food unless you're growing your own food that's where i'm trying to be at but unless you're growing your own food please supplementation it's very important so you have our self-care have the vitamin feminine wash um candles the other thing that i'm grateful for which i feel like i've already thrown in the mix i just want to give her an explicit shout out uh ariana elizabeth she has a channel here on youtube it is a godsend. That is how I've been practicing my yoga. The classes, the videos that she has, like she has them broken down from like time base to like part of the body base to um, meditations. Like it's just a total experience. And all she acts access for of her audience or at least the acts that I've seen is that you watch the ads that come before her videos so that she'll get some type of ad revenue I am so grateful for her like so grateful for her and just her consistency with engaging with us with creating the content with making the content as a woman of color with just intention i'm so grateful so if you are thinking about getting into yoga looking for a practice that you could do on your own um with i want to say just very intentional guidance like the way she like dictates the classes are so good please check out her channel i will link it below and again just i'm so grateful for her um in her channel and i, ha I have to share so that is something this month I have been like, and not even just this month, since quarantine, like she's been holding me down. So thank you and thank me later if you try, if you decide to get into your yoga, okay? Um, last thing that I wanna share with you, it's almost like a, it's not even a secret, but it's something that I really just, it just made my, my life better. And so I'm gonna share it with you today. And I also think I'm gonna do a dedicated video, but um, yeah. So this is my new shower cap. Uh, <laughs> I know I look a little funny, um, but this thing is the truth, okay? So my hair is getting longer. It's like a little bit past bra strap length and my locks are thick. So I was wearing just a regular shower cap and it was not working. Like my back locks would get wet. Um, I couldn't really clean behind my ears because it would get into the shower cap. Like, it was just too much and I was becoming really frustrated. Like I couldn't, I didn't want to do styles because my shower cap wasn't really working for me. And then I didn't want to take showers at night because my hair would ultimately get wet when I was using the other shower cap until I stumbled upon this just, ah! <laughs> This shower cap is amazing. One, it's so long. In addition to it being long, it's wide, so all of my locks fit into it. And then they thought of everything. They have the, the Velcro at the top where you can attach it, and so it stays up in the shower, and it's just like, man, I'm just so thankful that I stumbled upon this situation right here. So if you have long locks, you have thick locks, you're, you're just sick and tired of your processing cap, because I was using that too at one point, or your traditional shower cap, please get this one. Um, I can't think of right now what the brand is, but I'll link it in the bottom of the video. I found it at Target, but I'm sure it's available online somewhere. So I'll link it below, or at least put the name of the who made it. But yeah, those are just a few of my favorite things that I've, you know, fallen in love with, have added value to my life. If you're interested in any of the things that I've talked about today, I'll link what information I can down below. Um, but also share with me two things, two things. I just have two acts from you, please, please, please. Two things. 
one let me know if you like this video like should I do one of these monthly um, to share with you some of the things that have added value to my life and two the second thing I would love for you to share in the comments is just one thing that has added value or that you are grateful for in the past 30 days comment below can't wait to read it and I'll talk to you again soon peace love and good vibes <laughs>